Hey, what's up, everybody? Jed Johnson here from DieselCrew.com. Hope your training's going well. Of course, you know they call me Napalm. Hey, I've got a bunch of videos coming your way from... Well, you're going to see WWGBNE. And what that stands for is Worldwide Grip Battle, No Excuses. It was a contest that I put on over the weekend. And it was a multi-venue competition, so it was going on all over the world. I think it was... 10 or 11 venues maybe we had 99 athletes <clears throat> and uh it's it's really basically uh run the same way as the king kong of grip is run except for i used a slightly different scoring we use percentage based <clears throat> percentage based scoring which is uh used more often in grip contests so that was one of the ways to set it apart also i did not select the events um, I've had people say that I select the events to the contest for the contest that I run in order to, um, you know, cater to my abilities and I'm running pet events and that's totally not true. In fact, the first time that that was brought up, I had actually had people vote on, uh, some of the events to use in the competition. So, um, you know, I've heard that over the years, and it's actually quite bothersome, especially when one of the per people that uh, said that actually ran a competition one time and conveniently took out the wrist event because that was their, the weak point in their, you know, in their grip. But anyway, neither here nor there. Um, I asked all the promoters that I could think of what events they would like to run in a contest and ask them for one event submission. And then when I got them all, I broke them apart by discipline. So um, I had said no lockout events and no gripper events. And I split everything up into pinch, open hand support, and everything else. And then there was a random drawing and the events that were selected were two hand pinch on the flask, three inch trilobite, to six inch lift, um, hub, iron mine hub to six inch lift, and then finish ball, which is done to a 13 inch lift. So um, just to recap my performances in the two hand pinch, I was way down, way down. That flask on two hand pinch continues to cut me every single time. I was battling with cuts in my, on my, uh, especially on my right thumb, nothing I guess on my left thumb. So I only ended up with 227.9 pounds, and you know I'm generally running that event, and I'm at 242, 247, something like that. And uh, in fact, two King Kongs ago, we ran a record breakers, and I actually broke the GSI record for my weight class, and I think that was 247. I, I could be off on that. Um, those numbers haven't been entered into the database yet, and that's that's totally on me. But as you can see, I'm like 15 to 20 pounds down on that. So I started off kind of behind the eight ball. So I knew I had to kind of kick it up a notch. So the next event was the three inch trilobite. And that's a rolling handle uh, made out of aluminum. And I was I was surprised. And my best in competition was, I believe, 172 or something along those lines. And I ended up getting 173.98, almost 174 on my second attempt. So um, definitely my third and fourth attempts, attempts were PRs, got 178 and then 181.04. And I was like, man, that's, I think that's, that's pretty good. Um, maybe I took first place there, but two people beat me out. One guy was also in the 181s and change, and then one guy got 182.5. So I ended up finishing third, and I picked up some distance, but the, the guy in second, Ardo Dronin, he was already ahead of me because he had a nice big two-hand pinch on the flask. So not knowing that because you don't know what other people are doing in other competitions, you know, I just knew that I was happy with that, with that performance there. Definitely could have done a lot worse. Third event was Hub, which is easily, without a doubt, one of my least favorite events. I would definitely not have liked to um, had to compete on this event. Uh, I never train hub. I just put up a video about a month and a half, two months ago, talking about how I think hub training is a waste of my time. 
um, most likely everyone's time. It doesn't really carry over to anything else, so I choose not to train it. Um, in training, I think my best was like 73, 74 pounds, and I ended up getting 73.76. Um, on the first attempt, I got 70.91, then I missed 73.76 twice, and I went up there again, and I missed it. However, after the attempt, I noticed that there was a miss load. There was an extra two and a half pounds on there. So um, I took my last attempt again and got 73.76, and it was really easy. So you'll see that in the video if you check out the, the clip for that one. Then the last event was finish ball, and my training's been going really, really well on that. And uh, <clears throat> I was expecting well over 90 pounds, and I got 97.07. So I'm not sure what the world record is on that. I think it's like 105. I tried 100.13 pounds on my last attempt, and it just, just wasn't quite there. So uh, 97.07 was, was enough for first place. I knew going in that there were a lot of people that were going to be, well, I figured there were going to be a lot of people over 90 pounds, so I wasn't sure if it would be enough to uh, kind of negate the the rock that I was stuck behind it from the first event and the second rock that I got caught behind in the third event, and sure enough, it wasn't. I ended up third place overall in the competition behind Arto Jeronen, who is from Finland. He's excellently well-rounded in grip sport so uh, excellent victory for him I also finished uh, slightly behind Joe Hodgson from Australia and I know that I forget what the number was that he got but I know he was in the 80s on the on the hub so he was able to um, push ahead of me quite a bit on, on that event so that's the end of the contest there after four events there was an extra event and you if you've been, if you've been watching the channel, I've been putting up clips of this one quite a bit because it was it was very fun. I was really engaged in it. Um, it's the inch dumbbell high pull. So basically, you try to pull the inch dumbbell or an inch style challenge bell to a platform um, as high as you can get it. And uh, <clears throat> so you could use any challenge bell as long as the handles, uh, as long as the handle was about four inches, and as long as the heads on the dumbbell were globe shaped. So we had a 150 uh, and a 125. I, th I don't think anybody bothered with the 125. The, then we also had like a 172 and then the Selene 200, which weighs 195. And in training, I was able to pull in the 30s. I'm not sure how high I got it, in the, but it was in the 30s for the, with the Selene 200. Uh, in the, in the, on my third attempt, I went for 32 inches with the 195, and I got it. I tried 36 later on, wasn't quite there. So, um, and again, that was just an extra challenge event. Not everybody had to do it. Not not all the promoters even decided to run it. But if they if they were willing to run it, then people could try it. And uh, you know, I think we had like, I think it was less than 15 people tried it. The way that the event was set up was for you would weigh your you would weigh your inch dumbbell get the weight and then depending on where that weight was you got a certain number of base points. So 100 to 109 pounds was 10 base points. Um, for my 195 it was 100 base points. If anything was heavier than that, then 200 to 209 was 110 base points. 210 to 219 was 120, 220 to 229 was 130, and 230 to 239 was 140. We included those heavier bells because I know there are some out there, and I was expecting at least one group with some of those heavier bells to be competing, so we had to factor those in. In addition to your base points, you got extra points depending on the height. So for 8 to 11 and 3 quarters inches, you got one point. 12 to 15 and three quarters was two points. Um, and the scale goes on 24 to 27 and three quarters inches was five points. And then you got an extra 10 points if you hit 44 inches. So like I said, I hit the 195, which was base 100 points. And then I got 32 inches. So that's an extra seven points. So I got 107 points there. So that's kind of how it worked out. 
Um, and I, I took first place in that. Like I said, it's a fifth event. It was just a challenge event. It wasn't part of the uh, scoring structure for the contest. So um, didn't factor in there. Or else, you know, with that fifth event, maybe um, might have been able to make up some distance that I was behind. But like I said, the plan was never for that event to be in the competition. So I'm going to upload this video now. Then you're going to see the other videos coming up. Uh, from the competition, you'll see WWGBNE, Worldwide Grip Battle, No Excuses. So uh, be sure to check them out. I hope you give the videos one of these. Be sure to subscribe if this is the first video that you've seen of mine. I think you're going to like what you see, especially if you're into grip training because that's the majority of the stuff that I put up. And uh, any questions on anything, leave them in the comments section below and feel free to share this video. Take care.